Hello everybody, today we are going to see how to solder the new board for Game Boy Color. This board includes the charging circuit, the DC converter and also an audio amplifier for the speaker. We should receive a board like this one. It's a bit, a bit, but here is the board. Okay. The kit, this bag, include the board that is inside of this frame. We can see here the main board that is almost all circuit, and also here the small light board. This board include the status lights twice. Here and also here, we have two green uh, lights for indicate that is charge uh, is no the battery is done is full. Two red one for indicate that is charging, and here also uh, one white light to know that we are playing. This board doesn't doesn't need to be set up but can be. For example, if we want to install this small light board in the original light status LED, like here, okay, if we want to put here, I think many people want these lights doesn't work. For that, we have, we have here a small resistor that if we remove with the solder iron uh, these lights here uh, will not uh, turn on. We have also here a, a variable resistor that we can use for uh, ajust, uh, configure the maximum volume of the amplifier, sound amplifier. My recommendation is put in 50% and also the board is already in in the 50% because if we uh, increase this 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 maximum volume we can have depending on many things okay depending also um, on other recommendation we should change these uh, capacitors because after i don't know 10 20 years this was made in 1998. We should remove and, and put a new one. It's my recommendation. And also the speaker, the original speaker. This is another one. It's not the original one. Uh, yeah, everything can affect on the quality of the song. So my recommendation is uh, configure this at 50%. 50% is here is a arrow, and is here the new version is going to have a here and. Uh, arrow to indicate what is the 50 and change the capacitor and the speaker anyway in the other side we have some tests that we should follow the first one say that we need to cut we need to separate the main board from the frame how we need to cut here 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 and here where is the the scissors the drawing and after that we can test if the boards works or not i i test all boards before uh, packaging and sending to everyone okay but you should test maybe this can uh, get broken in the shipping why we need to cut first okay we need to cut first because when we want to connect the usb here this uh, frame uh, is in the middle and we cannot connect. Okay, first cut. I will do twice, first with this, 
maybe because it's red, it's easier to see. Where we need to cut, easy. Check the scissors, put here the tool, and cut, cut, another one, and last one, and we have the, the boa separate from the frame. If you want, we can cut a bit more to make beautiful. If we want. Okay, now we are able to connect the USB. No, in this one because it doesn't have USB. I will show in this one now. Oh, I can do right now. Why not? Take the board and cut. Okay, how I say we can make beautiful, maybe here, it's, it's not good, okay, now that is separate we can use a USB cable and a, a charger or battery to check the power. The frame said after cut, connect the USB cable and the battery. This with switch charge. Okay, so we have the USB cable and the battery here. No, this is full. I want one. It's okay. And the battery. If we turn on the battery, I mean this is another battery, okay? We can see how the our battery that we are going to put in our Game Boy Color is charging. So the board works. Or looks that works. And also if we remove the battery, this one, we see the green color because it cannot charge anything. Okay. What else? We need to prepare it. I, I haven't said it, but okay, but the board, the kit, include more things here that we are going to need. Include the plastic lid where that we need to put. Um, I don't have a... We need to put here. Amazon cables. One battery cable. Why? Because maybe the battery that we buy, and it's, 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 it's common, this happen, doesn't have the connector. If it's not include this connector, and this is a bit strange, it's very small, okay? If this happen with us, we can, we can cut here and put the, the cable that is include, and we have this. Or, if you want, you can remove the this tape and solder the cable directly here, and it's going to get there. And also, maybe this is too much long. Sorry for the camera. This is too much long, and maybe you can you wanna put only like this or like this. Doesn't need to be super long like like this. What include more? Include two cables more. Include this cable, this cable has three wires. This is for the light board, and we need only if we want to put this on our uh, rainbow color. If not, we, we don't need this. And also another cable more that this uh, is required for the sound uh, amplifier. We are going to see after how to put. Okay, and of course we need a, a board, a color board. 
I used this many times for all versions of the board and also the old one. So it's yellow here because I I applied uh, the the header, the solder station many times. Also, it's yellow here. Okay, this is not going to happen to you if you do this once. Okay, and also today we are going to do the installation with a normal solder solder iron and not a solder station. This is a, I don't know if it doesn't have the brand now, it's anyway, a normal one, because it's easy to, it's easy to install this board. Uh, I'm going to remove this, because I forgot to remove, and if I don't remove it, I cannot explain how to boot. And I will continue the video after that. Okay, I remove it. I have another video that I will put the link here about how to remove these things, these electronic components. I don't have now in this board so I cannot show. And I don't have another board. Uh, so you can see this link how to do. But I will say you need to remove the things that you can see here is not. You need to remove the, the jack the these electronic components, this, 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 all of them. I think this can be here but the board doesn't need so you can remove it. It's going to be better. And also for this new board, because the old one needed all of this, okay, but the new one needs uh, requires you remove this one. Because this new board uh, has the features of the original uh, board that was here before in this square. Okay, so you need to remove. My recommendation is using this tool and cut uh, the legs uh, one by one and then clean the, the holes one by one with the tweezers and I think it's the, the, the easiest way to do it. If you want to keep because maybe in the future you wanna put like it was before, I don't know, maybe, maybe no. Uh, it's going to be difficult because you cannot de remove uh, one by one the legs. You will need the uh, air station, solder station, or something like that. Anyway, uh, we have here the board. We we have connected this before to the battery, to the external battery with USB, and we have seen this working well. Now is the time that we know we can continue the installation if. The board doesn't work, maybe it was broken in the shipping. Uh, let me know in this time, not before. Because before, my, I mean, everything here is very small, and if you solder in by mistake in some place, you can broken it. So be careful when you are installing. The problem here is the light board is here in the middle, and we cannot put, and also it's not the place that this. So we are going to remove now, we are going to cut. Oh, okay, here. Focus the phone. The old version uh, in this bridge, like in this bridge that include the frame to the main board, uh, include the small holes that uh, made this easier to cut. The problem here now is, I haven't said, is that the frame include include some cables, some some wires, okay? Here two, another two, two here, another two here, okay? In total eight eight cables, eight wires, because this frame include some pads that allow me to test the bar one by one and check the zone, check the charging, check everything. I I have here I think yeah. I have this this. It's the steam board that when I put here, I can know everything is working well because I have this tool. Before, with the old board, I needed to test uh, one by one with the multimeter and another tools, but here it's easier. But this thing that made me easy, this job for you, uh, is going to be a bit worse because it's more strong when you cut the, the bridge, but only a bit if you have this tool. You would not have problems, I, I think. 
Okay, now that I separate the light, be careful, don't lose it. Okay, this is the, the old one, I will put, I don't know where. The new one, I tried, I don't know if you can see, I will show maybe the old one first. This is the old one. All right. It's very, very small. And, okay. The old one has three lights and the, on the right has a, a resistor. Uh, and it's too much there to the place where you need to solder. You need to solder the cables. So in this next version, I put this resistor smaller than, than now. And I have put, I put this in another place next to the lights. Now it's here. So I hope, because this happened with, with some, some people, I hope when you solder this, this small, very, very small pads with the cables, you don't touch the lights and you don't disorder anything. Uh, after we separate this, we also should cut here a bit because it's too big. Like this is good. We need to keep this for the finish. This is optional, okay? If this, we need this if we want the charging uh, lights in the original place of the video of the Game Boy Color. If we don't need, if we want to keep the original light that is here, we don't need this and we don't need to put this cable. But I think it's good to have all lights in the same place. Anyway, now that we separate the light bars, we are able. We are able here to see this bit here. Something like this. This USB connector is in the same position as the old or the previous version. So that means if you want, you can change the, the, the bar and you will be able to use the same plastic uh, shell that you were using before. We have to solder in total 1.2.3 three pads, 4 and 5. And there are two optional pads that we can solder if we want that is this two this and this this is not only this is this right? because the camera right. Let's see. this this is ink like this one this two one these are optional and you can solder here only for making the the bar more stronger um yeah only that but you don't need if you don't want I think with the other five is strong enough, but you have that, this option. Okay, how to solder this board? Imagine that this is my solder uh, iron, okay? You need to put, you need to center the board as much as possible to the left, to this side. Also, you need to see this hole match with the hole that is here for the screw and the other holes match I don't know if I can see show this better okay these three holes should match with the holes that are in the original board and this, the idea of for soldering this board is center very well it and take the solder iron. Oops, sorry. Hold the take the solder iron and put here. We need one one tip of uh, zero point. No, one millimeter or 0 0.75, 0 0.5. We have if we have this side, we can put inside the hole, hot everything, and then put the tin 
and it's going to be uh, perfect. So it's the thing that we are going to do now. A ver, let's see. cannot sing anything, sorry. Maybe like this. Maybe another thing that we can do is put here a few things. Only one drop, put the bar on the place, and when we put this inside, it's going to melt the tin. And it's soldered. Now is the time to check all, all holes are in the correct place, the board is center. For example I can see I, I should put more more next to the jack. So I will I will move. And we can continue with the other parts. I will do this one now. I'm pressing for both sides because I want the bar uh, as flat as possible. As to the Another one, this is for the song. This is this one. We can continue with this another two. And the first one doesn't have enough tin. I will put now a bit more. I 
and also I will pre-solder these pads for after. And the board is, is finished. I will clean a bit with alcohol. We will need the thicker because I don't have light. I will I will take a light one second. Okay, I wanted this light that is because I don't have the original light here because I want to put here only for testing very fast. And if I connect the USB cable. direction and ah, no, it's here. We can see the, the Game Boy Color is working. Also we can see if we have a speaker because the sound uh, is going to want to play. Okay we have our boar. This USB is a bit strong. This is new. The next step uh, is solder the cables. The cables but first the board, the light board, this light board. If you can see here, it's optional, I, I say, it's very small, okay. Uh, it's not necessary, if you are using a transparent case, I will show you. If you are using one like this, Maybe you don't wanna put because you can see the lights and it's not bad. Otherwise, if you put the these light bars, I think you will want to remove this one. Uh, remember, you just need to remove the the resistor that is inside. The tricky part in this installation is first center this board well. Uh, remember, we, we soldered this pad first. Don't do this one because this require uh, hot the board more because it's the ground. Okay, so you can use this one or maybe this one. Both are okay. And when you are sure the board is perfect uh, center on the on the Game Boy Color board continue with the rest points, but not until you are sure that of that. The second part, the tricky part, I think more, is solder this tiny bar. The way to solder this is first pre-solder these two pads. This second has to match. It's only a bit. I don't know if you can see. Okay, press order these two parts. Why? Because now this will help you to center it. You need to put here and apply uh, the solder iron in the other side. But first, you need to be sure. Uh, 
uh, you are sending this well. How? Uh, my recommendation is you use cotton tape. This kind of tape is is not. This is special for electronic, for soldering. Okay, but we are not used for that. We are going to use for protects, pro protect our finger because we need to hold the the bar like this and apply. And <laughs> you can burn a bit your finger. You can feel the hot. So you can take this tape or any tape. I think you will see for what uh, I want to use. Well, so you can try, why not? Uh, I think the first time I use the, the thing that I'm trying to explain you. But uh, I think also you can try to put here, maybe like this and this, yeah, something like that. The point is try to center well, it's hard. And more record it, sorry. I think you cannot see anything. Maybe not. It's very important, this is perfect. In the correct place. I think it's like this. Okay. And now when it's center, the next step is there take the the first clean the solder iron. And now that is clean. Put in the holes in both of them I feel hot in my finger now. I should have put more tape. I think it's okay, but it's not flat enough as I want. I can put my nail inside, so it's, I don't like. So I will another another thing that I can do is put uh, drops here of tin because this will allow me to solder to hot both at the same time. Let me first put again the tape here. Okay, I, 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 I see. Oh, it's hot. Okay. <laughs> now it's flat. Now I like. I don't. I think you haven't seen. Sorry. Now it's flat. I think I don't have paper. Okay. 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 I can put, but it's, it's very fit. Why we need to be careful of this? Because it's, we need to put the, the light. I don't know where I have here. We need to put this light in this position. Okay, and put the plastic shell. And yeah, we need. We don't have the space. So be sure you put this well. Now, if we connect the USB. We can see this is working, and now we have the light white to indicate that the video aim, the color board, is working. It's play, playing the game. Okay, second next step. Next step is solder this cable. We need to join. The three small pads here, that pads that I forgot to press solder, I, can, I need to press solder now. I need a bit of tin here. I will clean a bit this with alcohol. And we need to solder the three cables. This is longer that we need, okay? We need to solder from here until here. And we have this more. 
So you don't be worried if you cut and you cut too much and you need to cut again and prepare it. It's okay. Ah, the damn camera. What is my scissor? I want I want the red pub with the plus symbol. The green is too much long. The black is too also too much long. And the red a bit. Okay. Something like this is not not bad, I think. Now we need to put the cable here. As flat as possible here to here until the finish. My recommendation is use using glue. Super glue. Put one drop here. I think this glue is a spider or something. 
Ahí veo chut, mozrillas, hago. We are almost. This is going to be the part, the difficult part, because if we want to put the cable as short as possible, I think I, I will put more wood. One drop more here. To be sure this is strong. I want the cable, the red cable in the plus. So it's going to be the last one. We need first the D. The cable D is the black. The black is going to be the first one. After the black is the green in the C. one is going to be here I think so we say first I don't know how to put first the black I don't want to hold there with the tweezers because I feel the plastic can melt if I press it to the white inside. Is the reason because I'm using all the time my fingers.
I think the last one needs a bit more thin. We have the green and also the red is blinking because it doesn't have battery if we connect the battery in the connector. We can see... No, I haven't put one. No. We can see a red. It's charging. That's the other red. If we remove, we can see green. We can see green, and if we turn on, we can see white. So we have all the lights working perfect. Installation is almost done. We can slide this here. I think it's, it's, it's good. Why I put glue here? Because this is the best place. You can uh, you can install the bar in the place. And doesn't doesn't annoy any. The problem now is going to be the audio cable. Let's see how we can put it. It's very long also. Okay, I think I have it. I think the best way is like this. flat here and go there and then I will put a bit glue here don't put in this hollow you will have problems and don't put here around here because here is the screw but here is anything so I think it's the best place and this is not touching so I will put glue here And now we need to go here, I think I will put more glue over the other cables and then solder here. It is good, the other one, no, not enough. And the 
this is going to be until Something like this. I don't like at, at all. And with this, the installation is done. And if we connect the. No, sorry. We forgot the speaker. My speaker is here. We need to preserve the, the pad. Now yes, if we connect the battery, the USB, I mean, we can connect this also. And with this, we have finished to install the board. I can show you very fast how this fit because I want to make another video explain how to cut the hole. And in this second video you will be able to see well. The point is that all cables are here, doesn't annoy for closing. I can close with this one. are there
Now with this new board you don't need to make this big hole, but again you will see in the next video.